Hi, my name is David King from Ethical Wiki, and today I'm going to provide an overview of Wikipedia for marketing. Most people know that Wikipedia is pretty influential. It's one of the top 10 largest websites on the planet, and its articles are in the top 10 of 95% of search results. This chart shows some data from the Pew Internet American Life Project, which shows that Wikipedia has more college-educated readers than Twitter and Facebook combined. And that provides some perspective when you think about how many resources, thoughtfulness, how much expertise we devote to less influential websites than Wikipedia. A big reason for that is because a lot of organizations have been embarrassed in the media for manipulating Wikipedia entries. And this slide is just a very small sampling of some of the organizations um, that have gotten that kind of exposure. And this has created the perception that participating on Wikipedia is very risky, it's very ethically ambiguous, it's sort of a black hat um, thing for the company to participate at all. The best way to articulate the ethical ambiguity is with the Federal Trade Commission's online disclosure laws. So the Federal Trade Commission requires that if you have a financial connection to an organization, that you disclose it online. This applies to situations like crowdsourced product review websites, where the company goes in and they write their own reviews. And writing your own Wikipedia article can be a, a very similar type of thing. In a German court ruling, a CEO edited Wikipedia in order to promote his business, and the court ruled that Wikipedia's readers presumed the content is independent and crowdsourced, and that he was using Wikipedia as a form of covert advertising, because the readers were actually reading an advertisement from the company without realizing it. Now, after that court case in Germany, there were a lot of legal experts in Germany that said, you know, there's no way for companies to ethically participate on Wikipedia then. Every company should have a hands-off policy. Now that's a difficult pill to swallow though. These charts show some data from more than 2,500 Wikipedia articles about brands, and it shows that according to the Wikipedia community's own assessment, 85% of company articles are of very low quality, and only 10% of them are considered of top or high importance. And so these articles are paramount to us. They're extremely important, but from the Wikipedia's editor community, they sort of have more of a dismissive attitude. The articles are not as important to them. And so we're the most likely ones to improve it. Without our participation, um, often an article remains stagnant and very, in very, very bad shape for years and years. So we have a lot of motivation to participate. So I advocate that companies find a better middle ground between these two extremes. On one side, if you have a hands-off policy, you're sort of shackling marketing and I'm telling them to ignore one of the world's most influential websites, and a lot of bias and factual errors can run unchecked in that circumstance. On the other hand, if you directly and anonymously edit Wikipedia, that creates a lot of problems as well. That's some legal and ethical hot water, and it's very risky, and um, it's not necessarily something that's kosher. Now, in the middle ground, we can treat Wikipedia the same way we would the New York Times, the Wall Street Journal, or any other independent, autonomous website. So if you think about, if you called the New York Times, you would say, I work for company XYZ, I'd like to offer some content, I'd like to request a correction, I'd like to, you know, I don't think this article is fair, and so on and so forth. And we can participate on Wikipedia in a very similar fashion. Now, Wikipedia is very different, but philosophically it's very similar, that we can treat it like an independent autonomous website, um, and we can work with the site's editors. Now, the biggest way that Wikipedia differs from the New York Times, the Wall Street Journal, is that when a journalist contacts a company, they usually expect the company representative to advocate for the company's point of view. This is actually what they're looking for, is they want to get the company's perspective. On Wikipedia, advocacy is prohibited, and companies are expected to be neutral about themselves if they participate. And so that means in a lot of cases, we're going to have to include information that we don't think is factually correct, include information that we don't think is fair, or include information that does a disservice to our business that can actually harm our reputation. And so that's the conflict of interest aspect on Wikipedia that can and should make people uncomfortable. So I often say that if there's no tension, if there's no sort of discomfort with the situation of participating in Wikipedia, then you may be doing something incorrect because there should be because it is an uncomfortable position uh, for the organization to be in. I hope this presentation was helpful and I hope you find our other resources helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us.